SGC here, and we're back for a first impression. The Night Shift, Season 3, Episode 1. Holy smokes. I swear if I went with the production, finished Season 2 when it actually ended, I wouldn't be so saddened about this. But if you don't know, well now you know. Is that Freddy Rodriguez playing Michael Ragoza? He's done. He's done with Night Shift. He was great. I really enjoyed the dynamic that he brought forth to the show. But now he's off to another show who is a main cast and he's gonna be more front and center, I guess. Good for him, but sucks for Night Shift fans because he was just fun stuff and just great to foil and all that. Also, Janine Jen Goosen playing Krista. Dr. Krista is also gone, no reason. And also, weirdly enough, for Ragosa, they wrote him being an intern or somewhere else, so he's still alive. But then Krista in the first episode wasn't even mentioned, so did I miss that? Or they're not gonna bother bringing her up at all, because a mech bully, a mech, a mech bully is how they sort of, because a mech bully is how she describes it, that she and the production separate their ways. So hopefully they'll just bring her up at least and say that she like went on vacations, found something else. I don't know. But yeah, so now we have Scott Clemens, Jordan's ex, who was a recurring for the last two seasons, now be a main. Interesting stuff. He's the hard ass, really smart, but has nuggets of gold and knowledge and all that. So he's back. And then we have a new Dr. Shannon Rivera playing a new intern. And she's pretty interesting in this first episode butting heads a lot with Paul. They're pretty funny. Also, we have two reoccurring new characters. I haven't seen the second one, but Jennifer Beals as Dr. Sydney Jennings, the place in Afghanistan where she's chilling out with Drew. Drew's going to be there for 140 something days. She's back in nine. So I wonder if she's going to show up at St. Antonio's or what's going to happen with that? Is she going to stay behind or whatever in Afghanistan? And what the hell is Drew doing in Afghanistan? That seemed totally random. Did I miss a tidbit of news here and there? And then also the biggest thing, I can't believe I didn't go over this in my final impression of season two's finale, was that Jordan and Casey, holy smokes, that question that he pops at the end, and now we got the answer and they broke up. It's just like, wow, what happened there? Man, oh man, just, just crazy. And the case itself, pretty crazy. Interesting narrative plot device, but when they come back to the whole kid finding thing, it's not that important. So rather, why? I don't know why they did that, because it seems like if they weren't going to do anything with the kid, why bother with this three hours earlier thing? It would have been totally fine. They just went forward. I guess it's just like, oh my goodness, so much stuff has changed, blah, blah, blah. And then they throw you back in time. So I'd rather have, you know, plot me in the middle. We'll figure things out sort of deal or what have you. But overall, same thing. Good season opener, a lot of thing happening, a huge explosion. I think that's going to be the last explosion we'll see for season because that's money, money, money that they don't need to use. But overall, changes have been changed, and I would say Shannon Rivera is interesting. Kind of deadpan at times. Her line delivery is kind of iffy, but it's just another dynamic sort of thing. And I do wonder what Krista happened. I wonder, do wonder what happened to Krista. Maybe it was because she didn't have a lot of show time. Who knows, but I, you know, wish her the best with whatever she's doing. Same thing for Ragosa. It's a sad thing to lose the two of you, but hope whatever you guys are doing, you do and love. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the first impression. Enjoyable first episode and a two-parter, so I can't wait to go back and finish episode two right away. So yeah, that is it for my first impression of The Night Shift, season three, episode one. Out.